What's going on guys? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. So we are down here at the lake property and it has been two days since we put out the trap. Um, if you guys didn't catch that video, we put out a trap down here at the lake property. Um, I mowed this field a couple weeks ago and it was infested with rats. Rats were going everywhere. We're trying to get a positive identification on what kind of owls have been living on this property that were born here. And we're trying to trap some rats. So here in a second, we're gonna walk over here and take a look at the trap. And we've had some uh, pretty uh, interesting creatures check out the trap. Although I will say we haven't had any mice. So there is the trap. As you can see, it's set. And I'll let you guys uh, use your imagination. Before I play the video or play the pictures, I don't know if I'm gonna have video of this or not. I forgot to bring a SIM card down here to replace out of the trail cam. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it home and then I think I can get the video off of it. I'm kind of new to this trail cam, so bear with me. If not, I'll put some pictures up here, but check this out. So how many of you guys guessed right? Is that not crazy? We had a family of raccoons the first night. We had some squirrels. We had a groundhog, which that thing, it got so close to that camera at first when I got that alert, I was like, what is that? And after further more pictures and everything, I finally could tell it was a groundhog on my phone. And then a old possum. So got a possum, raccoons, got some birds, some squirrels, and the groundhog but no mice. I don't think we got anything that the owls would want to eat except for maybe the squirrels. And like I said in the last video, this trap is not made for squirrels. So anyways, um, the other trap is just a little bit uh, further away from here, up in the tall grass. It hasn't even been triggered. The raccoons, I'm guessing, either smelt the dog food or the peanut butter, and they stuck their arm in there and they set off the trap. But, you know, if you guys remember from the video, I poured a bunch of dog food and some goat food all around this trap to try to lure them in. And, of course, that is all gone. They eat every bit of it. So, anyways, that's what that is. Um, hopefully, I'm going to reset it here in just a minute. And then hopefully um, in the next video or so, we'll have a mouse in here. And then we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna try to get these owls brought in and we're gonna try to see what kind of owls they are. Hopefully we can catch them on video. How cool would it be 
to go ahead and get a mouse in this trap and then the owl come down here and then come check it out. I'm not trying to catch the owls. We're just trying to get a closer look on camera, catch them on video or get a good picture of them. So anyways, I'm going to reset these traps and uh, we got to head home and feed here in just a little bit. So I still got all, all the nuts in there, but now they're underneath the uh, little trigger. So we're going to have to fix that. So the trap definitely went off, but I'm guessing the raccoons rolled it. Like I said, I haven't seen the video footage or none of that yet, but I'm, I can only guess they were uh, pushing this thing around pretty hard trying to get all the goodies out of there. So we'll get it reset. Hopefully, all the big animals kind of stay away. Let's see. And we uh, can catch one of these rats or mice or whatever they are. All right, that should work pretty good. Okay, so although we didn't catch the rat, two try to bait in the owl, it's still really cool getting to see all the different kinds of wildlife. It's to me, it's kind of comical seeing the different wildlife. I never imagined that little groundhog coming up there to check all that out. I thought groundhogs like to eat like fruit and stuff like that, but you just never know what you're going to get on there. And then that little squirrel, he was just standing up. He was almost standing up just looking right at the camera. And I'm down here towards the lake. And uh, as soon as I pulled up, of course, the turtles belled off of that uh, log. But you guys see the turtle in the water right there. Oh, he's going down, going for a swim. See him right there in the middle? So I'm starting to get a little worried because this is like the second or third time um, I've come down here and i just seen something. Hold on. Hold that thought, Kevin. Look at this. Somehow, this is some type of a squash or something similar to that. Maybe it's a cantaloupe. I don't remember having any of that down here eating it, but that's sure enough what it is. I think it might be cantaloupe. And there's, there's a bloom on it with the little cantaloupe. So I'm gonna have to remember that and try to mow around it. It's a little late in the season to be growing cantaloupe. We're just weeks away from probably our first frost, probably, probably three to four weeks away from our first frost. And uh, I just totally forgot what I was saying a while ago. But uh, anyways, um, oh, I'm a little worried because this is a, probably the second or third time that I've been down at the lake property and I'm not hearing the owl I have not seen the owl um, now I have not been coming down here really late in the evening so I might come back later this evening I got some stuff to do I gotta go home and feed and everything here in a minute got some stuff to do and then I got to come back and bring the SD card anyways so um, I don't know if I if I see him tonight I'll try to film it so you guys can see but um, I'm beginning to think that they might have flown away or migrated away, went somewhere else. I don't know. I hope it's still here because I'd like to know what kind of owl it was that was born here. I still have not found their nest. I'm assuming it's up in a tree, but uh, hopefully we can get a positive ID on it. If not, it is what it is. Hopefully they'll come back, lay some eggs and hatch their, their babies out next year or something. You just never know. But anyways, guys, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'm going to head home and uh, get the feeding, and I'll see you guys there. Okay, we're back home. It's time to come home and feed. Um, so I did just check on the uh, SD card. I pulled it out of the trail cam, stuck it in my laptop, and I do have some video footage and some pictures. What's so funny? Huh? You laughing? <laughs> There's old Walt and Matilda. They are fixing to get their, uh, I'm going to have to trim their wings. So it's going to be fun catching them, but I've got to trim their wings because here lately, they have been really bad about getting up on the vehicles, um, especially the Jeep. The Jeep has a rack on top of it and they've been roosting up there and they make a mess and we can't be having that and the other day my parents came over and matilda was jumping up on her car and i don't know if you guys know this but these 
Turkeys, they got some claws, and uh, let me zoom in on their feet here. They got some pretty big claws there, and they can scratch the car up in a hurry, so that's no good. So other than that, um, everything's going good here. I know I haven't done a farm update in a little bit, so we'll do that here. Just kind of try to keep this video a little bit short. Um, I did see Bo, our uh, New Zealand Kiko buck. He's right over here. Let's walk over here and take a look at him. The other night when I was feeding, he was flirting with the girls pretty good. They were actually just two. I think most of them was bred, but maybe just one or two. And they may be now, so let's take a look. There's my dog, one of them. Mr. Leesky, Miss Cora is probably laying down in this grass somewhere. But Mr. Bo is a ladies' man, right, Bo? Yeah. So, there's no telling. You can see Mr. Leesky's laying there in the shade. He's, they're waiting for me to feed, so we'll, we'll feed here in just a minute. Oh, there's Miss Cora. Cora's laying in the shade, too. They're just chilling out. I'm just glad we finally broke them from uh, chasing the rabbits and being like addicted to chasing rabbits because that was very concerning. I'd come outside any time of the day and those dogs would be laying over by the pond and the rabbits would be playing back and forth across the fence playing with the dogs trying to get them to chase them and then the other rabbits would go down the fence and they'd come back onto our property I mean it's just it was never ending so as you can see I have a crowd they're waiting for me to feed them so I'm sure I'm not their biggest fan when I sit here and talk to the camera so well you ready for me to feed buddy every time I start talking to you you turn your back to me buddy hey well come here come here well don't turn your back let everybody see how pretty you are. Your feathers, he just went through a molt. And that's where they start shedding their feathers. She's still kind of growing her feathers back. He's growing his feathers back. Um, it's hard to tell, but he don't have his tail feathers all the way back in yet. He lost every one of them. And when chickens and turkeys start losing their feathers, they kind of look a little goofy. So, he's starting to look pretty good. She's still looking pretty poor. And the ducks... They kind of molt their feathers too. You know, ducks. Huh? You guys, you girls been laying eggs anywhere? I almost said guys. So we do have one male duck for sure, and the other three are female. So, but I haven't seen them lay eggs in a while. All right, let's get some feed for you guys. Excuse me, everybody. It's hard to fill up the book. All right, there ain't much feed left. <laughs> we gotta get this thing filled up pretty quick. All right, ducks, lead the way. Come on. Okay, I guess I want no part of that. All right, let's see if Mr. Mojo will come. Well, speaking of Mojo, Mojo, let's go eat, buddy. He said, "Okay, Dad. That sounds mighty fine." I was just thinking of eating. I was just thinking of eating. How'd you read my mind? You ready to go eat? Huh? Tell everybody hi. I ain't seen you in a while. You ready to go eat? Chicken, did you really just pick my boot? All right, come on, Mo. Let's show them how it's done. So, little weather update. I thought we were uh, gonna enjoy some nice, cool fall weather here, because it is fall time now. But it is 91 degrees today. Hot, hot, hot. I'm ready for some 70s would be nice. Time for the grass to quit growing. Time for the leaves to start falling off the trees, all that good stuff. But not, not time. Mother Nature says, not quite yet. All right. You girls will trip somebody. I put most food up here. They're gonna sit here and eat. We're not, we're not gonna sit here and just throw food out a little bit. We're just gonna do it quickly. Emus. <laughs> All right, let me in there. Get down, girl. Get down, girl. Ghost, get down. I can't open the gate with you.
All right, let's get Mo in here. Excuse me, excuse me, everybody. Hey, shh, 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 shh. Oh, Mo, get on in here, buddy. No, Nate, you can't have Mo's food. You go eat, the, you go eat your food. Okay, you ready? You think we can keep them out of your bowl? You're wagging your tail. I think that means yes. All right, so we only got two eggs, but they're many eggs. Does that work okay for you? He said, yeah, that's, that's cool, Dad. There's one, two. There you go, go ahead. All right, so while we're out here, I got a story to share with you guys. We got something going on here at the farm, but it, I'm going to save it till the next video. Hopefully it will be the very next video. Um, I'm going to show you guys something that's going on here that I have never had to deal with. So be sure to stay tuned for that because it's pretty interesting and I think it's going to lead up to some interesting things. So Mr. Mojo's eating his food, his eggs. I'm going to go check the water real quick and uh, check for eggs and all that good stuff. And, <laughs> And uh, I have another little chick somewhere. Uh, we had a little banny hatch out a chick. I can't remember if I've already shared that with you guys or not. Um, I keep thinking I hear it, but I don't see it yet. So, that might be Betty's chick. Anyways, I'm going to go check all that and fill up their water. And then uh, we'll head over and feed Cora and Lisky and see how everybody on that side of the farm is doing. Okay, come in the barn to check for eggs and look what I found. Hey, 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 my gosh, there is nothing like walking into a dark barn and getting flogged by a banny hen. Though I swear, Betty's, Betty's line of chickens are some of the meanest mamas I have ever raised. They're not mean chickens, they're sweet loving chickens. You know, they lay good eggs, they're little bannies, they lay little banny eggs and everything. But whenever they hatch babies and they have a baby or a whole bunch of babies running around with them, they will lay their lives on the line to protect those babies. They are meaner than a snake when it comes to their babies. So <laughs> that'll get your heart rate going. <laughs> All right, I'm coming. You goats know better. You guys aren't getting no food. <laughs> Mr. Whiskey Man. What are you doing? Why are you yawning? Hey, where are you going, Lise? I'm trying to trick the goats. Really, Nancy? One car, one Lise. I just seen a couple of pigeons fly in the barn. That's kind of weird. That never happens hardly. Come on, Cora. Please, Kay. Come on, Cora. Hurry. Get out of there. Please, he's patiently waiting for his egg. All right, there you go. Hurry up, Cora. Get your food, girl. Alright, so, uh, if you guys caught a video a couple times, hold on, goats are trying to take over the food again. Come here, Cora. Come here. Come here, Cora. Come eat, girl. Come on. Come here. Come eat. I won't let him eat your food. Here. Eat your food. I know it's hot. There you go. So I'm going to stand here and, uh, watch over the dogs they usually will protect their own from the goats but sometimes sometimes Cora is shy and if I'm standing here she won't do that she's like I know I'm not supposed to 
yell at the goats or bite the goats, but sometimes they gotta do what they gotta do to get their own food to keep the goats from getting in their feed dish. So, a couple videos back, I'll start over. Um, I posted the video about the pond and I had so many awesome subscribers leaving comments and uh, you know, opinions and stuff like that. But here's the deal. Dude, I had so many comments on the pond and half or half was it was about the lily pad looking flowers um <clears throat> half the people that left comments said yeah you need to leave them they're beneficial um for the pond they block the sun so it doesn't um evaporate the water as fast and then the other half was like you need to get them out as soon as possible it's not good for your pond so I had a lot of answers that was 50-50, so I, I'm still at a uh, loss here. Now, I had a lot of people say, you know you can Google that, and I, yes, I do know that, but that's why I like making these videos, because I like hearing things from experience from uh, a lot of you awesome people that have a lot of experience in that type of stuff. Yeah, here's a good girl. You better eat your food before them goats get it. Here, come on. Eat that. Are you full already? Must be full. At least you'll probably eat it. No, you goats don't get it. It's not goat food. So, anyways, I still uh, want to tell you guys thank you so much. I appreciate all the comments. Um, this 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 makes it worthwhile taking the time to make these videos and you know recording some of the stuff we do on the farm and off the farms, whatever we're doing is interacting with you guys. Um, Without you guys, we wouldn't have these videos. We wouldn't be posting them on YouTube or Facebook. So thank you guys so much. And um, keep it up. Keep leaving the comments. Um, you know, when I ask for opinions and comments and stuff, I'm open to anything. I don't, I don't get offended by nothing. And I don't want you guys, if you guys leave a comment and someone else says something that goes against what you said, don't get mad. Um, you know, you can ask 10 different people, 100... You can ask 10 different people one way to do something and you're going to get 100 different answers. It's just it's just nature. It's just how it works. It's always going to be like that. But we can always discuss it. We can always express our opinions. But just because someone else has a different opinion than you or thought or whatever, don't get mad. Just talk about it. And, uh, you know, reason with everybody. Be open-minded and be nice. Be kind, most of all. And, I don't know, it's hot out here. I... I can see why Corey don't want to eat a lot because it is hot. Mr. Lisey's got an appetite tonight though, don't you boy? They're ready for fall time too. They're ready for the cooler weather. And I know Mr. Mojo is. He absolutely loves cooler weather. He likes fall time. He likes winter time. And not much summer. Come here. Come here, Cora. Come eat. So anyways, I pulled the card. I told, already told you guys I pulled the card from the uh, trail camera. And I do have a little bit of footage on there. Now, they're only little five-second videos. I did change that to all the videos in the future will be 60 seconds. So hopefully we can catch a rat and we can get one of those owls in there. I'm going to go back here in a little bit tonight. And if the owl's down there tonight when I take the SD card back, I will definitely record it and show you guys in the next video. So make sure you're subscribed. Leave a comment down below. Like this video. Share it if you want to. And we'll see you next time. Hey, what'd I say? That's not yours. See you guys.